What's up everyone? I'm Danny. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Looks like we got something going on over here already. Some dudes getting in a fight. Um, okay, so we left off the last episode at that cauldron that we just finished. It was pretty awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And then we said we were going to start the uh, next quest for Erend, which is this one. Uh, the Field of the Fallen. Erend's sister Ursa was ambushed and killed by Shadow Karja. Uh, he wants to track down the soldiers who did it and take his revenge. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're pretty close. I uh, got us uh, pretty close over there. So we didn't have to um, So we didn't have to do all the stuff in between. Like running around and getting into fights. Um, but so we're right there. But I think we should go see what's going on here. Then he's in trouble. Maybe I can save this guy before he gets killed. Oh god, I got kicked in the face. I'm glad that's over with. Oh, this is our guy. Help. Oh, how convenient. This is the this is Aaron. This is who we uh have a word. This is who we were coming to see. That was awesome. So I probably didn't have to Come help on, him. He had a uh, plot armor on. Okay. What do you want? What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not going to risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Uh, what happened to your sister? We kind of already know. Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men. But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. Or maybe she thought... Ah, oh, damn, I don't know. But I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some Shadow Karja cowards. It was an ambush. The Shadow Karja are animals. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. I'm so sorry, Aaron. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, they'll be sorry too. That's heavy. You don't have any idea why she left in the middle of the night? No, but it must have been urgent. A message, a report of some new Shadow Karja threat, I don't know. Are you sure you're all right? Well, I'm sober, so... no. Well, I'm glad you're thinking straight, at least. Don't get used to it. Okay, show me the ambush site. Ambush site. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. Why would Ursa come all the way out here? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cliff. Almost there. So pretty. Hey, this is it. Where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. I need to find the bastards that did this. Yeah, it looks like a mess here. There must be Shadow Karja armor. A Shadow Karja spear. Strange. Not a scratch on it. It's perfectly 
Deadly shark. Never seen action. Arrows scattered there. Those bloodstains are not the kind that would pull around a corpse. They look like smears. They look good as new. Never fired. Mmm, a setup maybe? These look like drag marks. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? This stain forms a line. As if blood dripped off the edge of something. Like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. Well, we haven't done one of these in a while. I like how the, uh, the waypoint system and stuff is a part of the, uh, it's, it has like a, pl a reason for it in the story of the game, in the plot. I think I said that in an earlier episode, but still gotta like it. Like her eagle vision is actually something explained, you know? Not just, oh, I'm super, I have listen mode. Stuck on a rock? more to this and we're gonna figure it out oh wow where where are we dim to bones what's going on here looks like a uh These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? To me, you just... Holy shit. <laughs> Ow. What the fuck are you doing, man? Get out of here and fight. Uh oh. What's that? I think it's calling in machines. Get ready. What's what? Don't clump up. Spread out. Got to re-up on my ammo here. You know what? I want your gun, dude. Give it to me. These uh, Ravengers have guns on them. There it is. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> this is awesome. Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. 
Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. Yeah, this is bizarre. Any goodies around? Not really. Well, what do we got here? Those rocks, they're shattered. These look like vanguard weapons. So much blood. What are those leather straps? Okay, is that, uh... There's no blood on them. Ursus men didn't fight back. Well, yeah, if they were ambushed by, uh... By their own team, they wouldn't know. Hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. A lot of people died here. A massacre. Armor straps, cut with a knife, and a rock with blood on it. Am I, uh, am I missing something? Oh. Hmm. Oh. Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. There, by the tripod. A used power cell. Oh, yeah. This is Ursus' helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but it must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torch in me. I have a theory, but it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. Then why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursus' face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut, as if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor, someone around the same size, and mutilated it enough so it could have been anyone, even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. Okay. That was pretty dark. I was gonna say, before uh, we got interrupted by the cutscene, this kind of looks like an area where a telescope would, like, go, you know, on top of, like, a big mountain, looking up at the sky. But when I look at it on the map, like, this kind of looks like a telescope array, but then this kind of looks like a boat. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, um, he wants us to meet him back here. Meet Erend at the Palace of the Sun. Okay, we got time. 
Let's head over there. Fucking cool is that, man? So pretty. Alright, uh, I'll probably skip over there unless something cool happens. Um, so I'll see you guys in a second. No, oh, we're back in Meridian. Place is so cool looking. I think we're going over there. Yeah. I don't think I've been there yet. I've been over there. Excuse me. Jeez. Oh, what's going on here? What's this about? The liberation. Oh, we should read that soon. A lengthy scroll of parchment. Yeah. I want to make an episode about a little bit of the um, a little bit of the back history around here because these are actually quite in in, uh, quite interesting. Jeez, man, these guys are making me nervous. I feel you, man. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You are needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. Yeah, we haven't met the Sun King yet. To see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor. Wow. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. This place is pretty. And now outlanders from the Savage East? What interest could the Sun King have in her? Passed by some outlander woman? Unacceptable. Wow, these people are hating. Two hours, Miss Nora goes to the front of the line. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. <laughs> What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Osara. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osoram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osoram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad, let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. 
Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asuran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. So, why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. And she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies, I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. The killers who attacked the Nora. I've discovered that they're a faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient weapons, machines that corrupt and control other machines. They want to use them to strike Meridian. What you're saying echoes reports I've received from Marad, a Shadow Karja splinter group. Corrupted machines across the land. When will this attack come, do you know? I'm not exactly sure. And we will do what we can to prepare. But in the meantime, Ursa is my highest priority. Please, help me find her. Uh. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. Oh my god. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Mmm, he's very charismatic. Your politics seem... Very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans and the claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. Okay, I think that's everything. I need to get going. I know. 
Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Aaron if you have further questions. That was a long talk, but I felt it was necessary because um, we've only kind of got glimpses and hints about what's going on with the uh, all the tribes and stuff in this world. And uh, we've heard a lot about the Sun King and the Mad King and what happened, um, but we haven't actually had any uh, information on it other than those small glimpses and hints. So uh, that was a pretty good uh, information dump there. I see something here. Founding a meridian. See something else over there. <laughs> a record made on sun worn parchments. Oh my god, where are we going? Fuck me. All right, you know what? That was a pretty pretty good episode. Kind of boring. We just talked a lot. Um, but I'm going to leave this one here, and in the next one, we'll just uh, start way over there. You know what I mean? Because I'm not going to uh, I'm not gonna put you guys through the journey, even though it probably would make a good video on its own. But anyway, if you like this video... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let's get somewhere pretty to end it, right? Where are we? Where can we go? Let's get somewhere pretty. No, this is good enough. Alright guys, if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Also, follow me on social media. And as always, stay classy. Thanks.